Typically, a good speech involves some type of roast. In this case, Allison doesn't give me a lot of material to work with. Nice, perfectly straight teeth. Uh, where'd you get them, you know? <laughs> You're super smart and pretty, wow, you know? You have a doctorate in pharmacy? What's that about? <laughs> There's nothing bad you can say about Allison. But Mark, on the other hand, <laughs> after meeting Mark, I realized he is just a 10 times better version of myself. Smarter, taller, better looking. I've never arm wrestled the guy, but I'm pretty sure at this point he can take me. <laughs> Allison and Mark are a perfect match, a match made in heaven. First day of pharmacy school, Mark goes there and my wife at the end of the day when Mark comes home, she calls him and has about a 15 minute question and answer session. And when she got through, I said, Mark, I've got one question after all this. Did you see any pretty girls? And Mark said, as a matter of fact, I did. She doesn't know it yet, but she's gonna be my girlfriend. On their very first date, she texted me and said, Mom, mark my word, I'm gonna marry this guy. So both of them right off the bat just knew. Allison, the day we met, we said no more than a dozen words to each other. But I told my parents that night that I had met someone special. And while you didn't know it, you were going to be my girlfriend. I am still proud that I initiated our first conversation, but only wish it was something more clever than, hey, I like your shoes. <laughs> but still, there was no turning back at that point. It felt like the universe was immediately split into two parts, the before I knew you part and the rest of my life part. I don't know if love at first conversation exists, but I know that it happened to us. Allison, today I get to marry the most amazing person. Today, I get to marry you. If you weren't the most beautiful, selfless, and loving person, it would almost be embarrassing how fast I fell in love with you. I was falling in love with you when we had just met. I was falling in love with you when we played Would You Rather until three in the morning. And I was falling in love with you when we'd admire the moon and the stars with the telescope. In just four years, we have packed in a lifetime of memories, experiences, and adventures. I am thankful every single day for the way you have supported me, encouraged me, and helped me grow. There are a lot of different ways to measure our time together, but I prefer to measure our story in the thousands and thousands of falling in love with you moments. And while I cherish every single one, I can't wait for all of the new moments that this wonderful day will bring. From the day that we started dating, I told you I was going to do something to earn your love each day. Whether it was stealing a few minutes in between classes to come see you, becoming an Auburn fan, <laughs> or being all in for Allison, I've always tried to show 
how much I care about you. Today, I promise that I will never stop trying. So Mark, I promise to support you no matter where life takes us and in every adventure that lies ahead of us. I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to be a solid and relentless support system for you, someone you can always trust and count on. And I promise to not take myself too seriously either, to be ready to burst into song and dance with you at any waking moment. I take you as the person that makes me laugh more than anyone else, as the only person I want to spend my life with, as my endless love. When we got engaged, we said that boyfriend-girlfriend never felt enough for our relationship. For the last 14 months, I thought that fiance sounded a little bit better, but husband and wife, that sounds perfect. Mark and Allison, may God bless your marriage abundantly. And may you always be mindful of this moment of deep love you've expressed to each other through your vows. Now, by the authority given to me by the church, I hereby pronounce you, man and wife, Mark, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark. Miller.